I'll say, and that brings us to our next uh, our next story. And our next story is that HD0 is adding a 540p60 high penetration mode in addition. So that's another one maybe you could test. Mm -hmm. um, we've also added low band support. So the L band, which is illegal in most for most people to use, at least in the US, mm -hmm. I believe. Um, but if you are trying to use low band, you can now do that. There's a way to do that through GitHub to flash your mm -hmm. uh, VTX so you can unlock those low bands. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And uh, in addition to the 540p60 high penetration mode and low band options in the release firmware currently, there's also a new tester firmware. That's that last link I've posted there um, hmm. that Ryan Quillett has posted up on the Divamath group. Um, and that's going to be 1080p30 live view. That's wow. going to be 1080p30 vsync tearing issues that they're fixed. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be a fix for that 1080p60 glitch we saw where the HDMI in on the HD user goggles is having trouble. So with the 1080p modes, you're going to get higher latency because it's 30 FPS, higher resolution, but a significant reduction in range is what I would expect. By comparison, the 540p60 is going to give you even better range and penetration. Uh, yes. That's pretty That's pretty slick. It's pretty slick to see customers, users having the choice. Like if I was somebody who bought Walksnail and one of the commenters said, nobody would seriously race Walksnail, right? Well, like it's a fact that some race organizers don't want to see digital systems because it messes with the timing. And it, it, it if you put the pilots all in the same pilot station, they interfere with each other. So like that's going to vary. But I have to say, if you were somebody who bought DJI or Walksnail and you decided to go race, you know, somebody, somebody's going to be like, yeah, I just want to race today. Can I, why can't I race my system that I brought? And so if you're that person, if you're like serious about racing, you're probably not going to take Walksnail to your race. You're going to take HD zero. But if you're just a person who owns Walksnail and you want to race, or even if you just want to freestyle with that lower latency, I think it's nice to have the option. And the same is true for HD zero. If you're somebody who, who has HD zero and wants more penetration, it's really great to see the uh, improvements there. So very, very exciting. Yeah. 